Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. The press secretary is the person who stands in for the president and helps the American public and journalists who are in the room understand what he's doing and why he's doing it. The office of the press secretary in the West Wing is right in between the Oval Office and the press briefing room. So it's equidistance between the president that actually you work for and signs your paycheck and then the press that you've got to serve equally well if you're going to be successful in the job. That person should be held to a very high standard of accuracy, both in terms of stating facts accurately about, about the world, but also in terms of being able to convey with a lot of fidelity what the president is thinking about, what the president prioritized, and what the president's approach is to solving problems. Mike McCurry had this idea that instead of the traditional announcement speech, tonight I should just give an off-the-record announcement <laughs> on what he calls, he calls, psych background. At its heart, it's about trying to create a more amicable relationship. I mean, nobody's fooling anybody else. They're going to go back to a very adversarial posture the next day, but it is an evening when people can get to know each other and build some relationships of trust. So I think it's a good thing. Before Poor Sean Sabicer, you know, you got, you know, my, my daughter often says, how come you were never on SNL? So, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm kind of glad I wasn't. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. The things that are fatal for a press secretary are, of course, telling a lie or misleading people. The person who speaks on behalf of the president is there because they're paid by the American people. And the president's personal behavior, the president will have to account for that, which is, you know, frankly, with Bill Clinton, that's exactly what happened at the end of the day, and it probably will with Donald Trump, too. If you guys have real concerns about leaking out classified information, look around this room. Leaks are challenging, and, you know, I, I often joked when I was in the White House that uh, I certainly wasn't the first White House press secretary to complain about leaks. I'm used that probably George Washington's press secretary uh, complained about leaks in the media. Leaks are sometimes they're strategic and they're planned. I'm briefing today as an anonymous source. I did my fair amount of leaking because you wanted something to get out that someone would say, oh, I've got an exclusive, and then they would give it more prominent display in a newspaper or on broadcast. The dishonest media, they are dishonest. You don't believe how dishonest. It, it is fundamentally corrosive to our democracy when the presidency in the White House does not respect the role of the independent free press. The president that succeeds President Trump will have a really, really important job. Uh, in some ways, a job that is uh, uh, unlike any challenge that a previous American president has faced, uh, and for that reason, in some ways, even more important. And I think the same description will apply to that person's press secretary. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.